Learning the neutral game in any fighting game can be a daunting concept for newer and even some intermediate players. That's why in this video I will be walking you through, giving you some tips and strategy, and help you overcome the fear that is the neutral game. Hopefully, with this video, I can get you to win more neutral interactions, get you to start your offense, and win more games. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, I wouldn't bring up neutral if movement wasn't involved. Movement is one of the most important concepts and things you should get down when it comes to learning any fighting game, specifically Tekken, since this is a very movement-heavy based game. Uh, learning to Korean backdash and just overall control your character, like how I'm doing, is something you want to do and get down. So that way you can learn to dash in and out of your opponent's ranges and bait whiffs. And that's uh, one of the main goals of neutral, is to get your opponent to whiff so that you can whiff punish them and, uh, you know, maybe launch them and get a combo. So if... If it's one thing, I definitely recommend you spend some time learning to Korean backdash. All you do is press back, back, quarter circle, back, quarter circle, back, back. Oh, okay, sorry. So it's back, back, quarter circle, back, back, quarter circle, back, back. Just like that. And then even more advanced stuff, you can start uh, introducing stepping, kind of like how I'm doing. There's uh, this advanced technique called square stepping, where you're kind of just... Uh, Stepping into in, in like a square shape if That makes sense. So You kind of just like dashing in and out stepping so that way if your opponent happens to maybe throw out something that's linear You'll happen to step it so um, You know just get comfortable with moving and When you go into matches practice Korean back dashing practice sidestepping um, there's plenty of videos out there helping with sidestepping. I recommend VDX um, when it comes to really getting stuff down. But, uh, yeah, just get your movement down, learn to backdash, and once you get fluid with your movement, we can start moving on to the next step. So, one of the goals is to get your opponent to whiff, and that way you can capitalize on a whiff punish, and you can score a knockdown, and then start your pressure. But how do we exactly get our opponent to whiff? Eh, that's easy. You just go in the range of their attacks. And if you really want them to bite, if you're getting in the range of them and they're just still kind of moving around waiting for you to do something, you can bait them and get them into attacking you without just movement. Movement, you can get someone to, uh, you know, get, get them to do something like attack. But sometimes players just simply won't bite. So what you do is you can throw out quick jabs, you know, quick buttons, and this will give them the notion that, hey, I'm I'm available, come try to whiff punish me. Um, and then that's when, once you're, you're done whiffing, you can uh, try to create more space, and then if you see them visually whiff, you can go for a whiff punish. So here I have Fang recorded doing movement, and then doing a forward three two, so we just practice trying to, you know, use our movement and spacing uh, to our advantage. We should be able to get him to whiff, just like that, and whiff punish him. Um, it always doesn't have to be a launcher for a whiff punish. You can always use um, a quick mid-string um, just to get that quick damage, but it is uh, more useful to get a launch. So learn the ranges of your buttons and just practice with punishing get your opponent to uh record the dummy to move around and then set them to record a move that moves them forward and uh learn the range and then that way you can just practice with punishing them but just to reiterate movement and whiffing buttons will get your opponent to retaliate and try to um you know attack you and then once you figure out their rhythm and what they want to do at specific ranges, you can capitalize on that and with punish them. I know I'm <laughs> I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but it's really just as simple as making yourself seem vulnerable and then backing off and getting your opponent to retaliate. 
Okay, so we got movement and baiting out of the way. Now, what kind of attacks do we use in neutral? Well, that's a good question. When you approach your opponent and uh, you want to start putting pressure on them, you want to use fast and safe moves. And when I mean fast, I typically mean somewhere between 10 to 13 frames. You don't really want to be using slow moves, otherwise you'll just get punished a lot. Um, because a lot of slow moves are usually unsafe, so just be careful. You want to be using quick uh, pokes, so if we set our dummy to a block, or just set them to a dummy, we have them block. You'll notice if you watch a lot of high-level play, Tekken players will start their offense with a simple jab, and there's a reason for that. Sure, you're only plus one on most jabs, but it's the pressure that you can start afterwards. You're plus one, which means you can sidestep your opponent's retaliation if they happen to press something. Or you can go for a quick low if they retaliate with a, a high or just a slow mid. You can also try to backdash and create space off certain pokes, like Dragonov's down forward one creates good space, allowing him to backdash and create a whiff punish opportunity. So, learning spacing... Um, along with knowing your fast attacks is crucial and learning the range of your pokes is another good thing to know like this is a 14 frame mid poke from Dragonov, um, which is pretty decent but if you look at the length and the range of it it's pretty good at keeping your opponent out if they try to um, dash in on you and press something um, the the rps the rock paper scissors neutral game i will talk about maybe in this video or in another video but um it's definitely something you should know but just again attacking with fast buttons uh fast lows you know if you're gonna do a low don't be predictable with it um a lot of lows are really unsafe and you can be punished or even launched for it um so just quick buttons quick jabs you know single buttons is what you want to do you don't want to be constantly doing full strings, you know, because some of these strings can be ducked and punished or some are just even unsafe. So, um, yeah, just use pokes, use plus on block pokes. Make sure you can put yourself in at advantage. If not, just slightly minus to where it's still your turn and you can sidestep or um, backdash to bait a whiff, just like we talked about earlier. So, here I have an in-game example, well, I have a match here to show you some in-game examples, and I will make sure to point out the situations and where I capitalize on my opponent whiffing and just using spacing to my advantage. So without further ado, we'll just restart from round one. So not too much, it's just, uh, you know, offense right at the start. Not too important, anything neutral game related. Um, but yeah, you just want to be mindful of what your opponent wants to do in neutral and at which ranges. So right there, as you can see, I was spaced out after the knockdown. I didn't, com I did run up all the way, but they, my opponent held back, which created more space than I wanted, which ended out to be a good thing. So they whiff their rage dry, or uh, my bad, heat smash. And I, uh, whiff punish it with back one too. And then there I just go for my offense, and they happen to get clipped by my 4-3-1 plus 2. Um, but usually at round start, the smartest thing to do is to backdash or try to sidestep. It's not always a smart idea to try and start something at round start. Because round start technically is neutral game, so... And then right there, you notice this is kind of neutral because I blocked a uh, electric, which Jin's electric in heat, uh, he always gets his electric no matter the input. Usually you have to be frame perfect, but if Jin's in heat, he gets uh, his electrics no matter what, and they are very plus. So even on plus frames, I sidestep, I use movement. To try and catch him but unfortunately I was too slow it happens so it's not too much just so right here you notice I I like to use movement 
during block strings. It's not a smart idea to always try and backdash in the middle of strings. Otherwise, you'll just get clipped. Um, bad interaction. I tried using armor, but... This round shows a good example of round start sidestepping. Then I get a full launch into a combo. Mess up my combo, but it resets anyway. So this is kind of like the dancing in neutral game is what it's called. Uh, you'll move in and out of your opponent's range, just like I talked about earlier. I try to whiff punish, but I fail. That's okay. It'll happen. You're not going to whiff punish 100% of the time. And then that's the end of the round after my Oki setup. Um, <clears throat> wall combo. Oh, right here. Okay, so this is a good example. I block Jin's 1 2 4. And you can see how it creates some space between me and Jin. And then Jin goes down for down forward two after, and I backdash, creating space between me and Jin so that I can capitalize on a whiff punish, and I do exactly just that. I don't get a full combo, but damage is damage. dancing, pokes, and like I said, if you're gonna attack, make sure you use fast pokes and pokes that are safe. And safe can mean anywhere from zero to minus five or six on block. But even safer, like minus one to minus three is better. So right there. It was my offense, it was the start of my offense, but since we're kind of not doing anything, my opponent was laying on the ground. They wake up kick, and I don't take advantage of the whip. I'm a little slow. So being on point with your whip punishes is crucial. But you'll notice, even just during uh, defensive situations, I like to try to create space so that I can create an opportunity for myself. And here my opponent just reacts to me crouch dashing at them. So you'll notice I do a crouch dash, bait, bait the rage art, and boom, I win the round. So yeah, just when it comes to improving your neutral, uh, make sure you use fast pokes you use your movement to move in and out of your opponent's ranges um, and bait whiffs um, and what else yeah just movement and moving with intention of course and using moves to make yourself look vulnerable but then using that to um, retaliate your opponent retaliating so them trying to whip punish you but that's it for this video if you found it at all helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this and let me know in about a week or two if your gameplay improves i'd like to know so that's it this is darkson signing out take care